Psalms 18. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then, check this out, the earth shook and trembled. Sometimes when God's answering prayers, it looks like, oh, hell is breaking loose. But he's getting ready to answer prayer. So he's setting up the stage. Listen, then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down to check this out. And darkness was under his feet. Sometimes when you're in the darkest area of your life, you're closest to God. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. Not light. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him with dark waters and thick clouds of the skies at the brightness that was before him. His thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them. And he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of water were seen and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke. That's the parting of the waters. O oh Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils, he sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. And here it is. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Listen, you guys, God, there are times when the darkest period of your life is your chariot to your blessing. He drew me out of many waters. That's God coming to your rescue. And he pulls you out of many waters. And you picture the parting of the Red Sea. That's what that's exemplifying. God makes a way where there is no way. When you, when Moses was caught between the devil and the deep blue sea, when he was, when he was facing the Red Sea and behind him, the Egyptians were coming up on him hard and, hard and heavy. There was nowhere for them to run, nowhere to hide. So when God tell them, stick that stick over the water, and then all this started happening, all the storms started churning in the sky and the lightning and thunder, and the, the waters parted on both sides, a wall of water, dry ground for the Israelites to walk on. God made a way where there was no way. He'll do the same for you in your life. He'll make just like he did for me and Milton. He made a way, a passageway for Milton and me to come up here where a place we knew nothing about. And I'm more blessed now than I've ever been in my life. It is the craziest thing. But listen, you guys, when God is setting you up for your blessing, you got to be like that rocket. You got to be willing to just let it go. Let it go. I threw so much stuff out there that normally I would have clung to because, you know, it was my stuff. I let so many things go in order to move into the new. There are people that you got to let go of. There are relationships you got to let go of. I had to let go of my career in order to receive the blessing full steam ahead. This place became a real blessing once I dropped my career. And that was my only livelihood. It's going into that unknown place. His darkness is his pavilion. Ah! Anyway, I'm going to stop because I'll end up preaching a whole other sermon. But yeah, that, that is what I was picturing when I was talking about the storms and the clouds, I was picturing this scripture.